Hey guys and welcome back to the next episode of a Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode we made our way through the uh, Team Galactic HQ and now we're in front of this door before facing Cyrus so if you're excited for that be sure to press the like button down below. But yeah without further ado let's go ahead and open this door, a special key is needed but we did find it in the last episode so use the Galactic key on the door and there he is the big bad boss of Team Galactic so let's see what he has to say. So you've come, you've heard my speech I take it, snicker. Wait, snicker like the chocolate bar? Um, anyway, a big lie of course. It's true insofar, insofar, is that a word? It looks like they forgot spaces or something, but I guess it's a word. Insofar as my intention is to create a new world. But that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I seek an entirely new world, solely for myself. Okay then, so he's kinda lying to his grunts, apparently. If not, it could never be complete and perfect world. You see my minions of Team Galactic. You yourself must know that they are uniformly useless and incomplete. Wow. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mespert and Azov, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I couldn't care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. Yo, calm down, man. Calm down. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity? Such pitiful, useless emotions, it's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and faulty human heart. You were compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Okay, so here we have it. The battle against Galactic Boss uh, Cyrus. I forgot his name for a second there. But not really, because he's actually called Leo in this uh, randomizer. So we're facing Leo and his love disc. Okay, that's not really a uh, scary Pokemon for such a threatening man. But we do have Felix up front, which is great, so we can just go for some Thunder Shocks on you. And almost Oculus Love Disc. Um, so yeah, let's go for another one. We are locked in because of our choice packs. And we don't kill it because of the uh, Aqua Ring, which is annoying, but at least it's dead now. Kabutops is coming out next, so another Wallet type that I can just uh, kill with the Thunder Shock right here. I hope so, at least. No, we don't. And Slash is doing a solid chunk. It didn't crit us, luckily. So uh, Kabutops was also dead now. And do you only have Wallet types? You really just want to die to Felix, don't you? It's level 46 though. But we managed to oak it thanks to the crit. So good job Felix. Just sweeping through Cyrus. So yeah this battle wasn't really that tough. I was expecting more of a challenge. Because his Pokemon were pretty high leveled. But uh, because he only used uh, water type Pokemon. Felix could just breathe through them. I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion toward Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And like all illusions they fade over time. Until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But it doesn't matter, I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Okay, you're pretty nice for an uh, evil leader. You're giving me the Master Ball. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. But it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. But yeah, it's kind of weird, because in the original games he has a Crobat, which evolves by uh, happiness. So he does in fact care for his Pokemon, even though he doesn't really admit it. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the war panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. I will ascend to the mountain's peak where destiny awaits me. It is there that I will create my new world. So yeah, what is up with these villains and them telling uh, me where they are going? Okay, this is uh, kind of interesting. So you can uh, have some nice uh, a backstory to the myth uh, mythical Pokemon and the Red Chain. If you want, uh, if you guys want to read it, uh, just uh, pause the uh, uh, pause the video and you can read this uh, dialogue for yourself. I will probably do that uh, once editing this video because it's pretty interesting in my opinion. But for now, I'll just skip through it. And this seems to be the uh, exit, I think. Well, actually, I don't think it is. I think it brings us to. Yeah, it brings us to the uh, place where Cyrus gave his speech. So it's pretty cool that we can actually stand here. But uh, it's not where we should go. We have to go and save the uh, mythical Pokemon or legendary Pokemon rather. Uh, Azov, Yuxi and Mesprit. So let's do that. Uh, are they down here? Yeah, they are. And I do think a battle is coming up. So um, let's put Cobalt up front instead. And yeah, let's see uh, what's going on. We can grab this item a... Weeper Berry, which is pretty useless. Are you a trainer? Okay, no, he isn't. But he did feel bad about uh, what he did to Maxi. Maxi? I mean, Yuxi and Mesprit. I kind of uh, 
Combined their names there, Maxi is the leader of Team Magma. Um, so yeah, at least he does have some uh, sort of uh, feeling of compassion for uh, these trainers. It appears to be suffering with its eyes squeeze shut. Ah, oh, that's too bad, man. How are you doing, Azelf? Okay, so they do seem to uh, suffer from uh, different things. That's pretty cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Karen. Wahahaha! <laughs> Those Pokemon of the lakes, where do you suppose they would go? What are you trying to say? Nothing. Pay it no heat. A new world isn't overly interesting. What of it? If Cyrus is right, then Team Galactic will rule that new world. That's when it will be interesting. A chance to enjoy its sweets. I surely hope that our visionary Cyrus realizes his dream. I look forward to whatever our beloved leader has planned atop Mount Coronet. Gramps, our boss can do without your kind of moral support. Oh wait, we could talk to you then. Oh uh, yeah, I came to save the new Pokemon, but why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We Team Galactic take all that we need and eliminate and eliminate that we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for insulting me at the lake. Yeah, you kind of got beaten there at the lake. So, uh, time for part 2 of this battle in which I'm going to beat you again. Tamer Jill and... Hey, Hitmontop. Okay then. We do again have the right Pokemon up front with Cobalt. So, uh, let's go for a couple of extra sensories to knock you out. Okay, you're living. I see you, I see you. Okay, the one more is going to knock this Hitmontop out. Do they only have mana-type Pokemon or something? Cyrus only had water types, you appear to only have fighting types? So that is kind of interesting. Cross Chop uh, did kind of a lot, but uh, we kill you with the extra sensory, so that is great. Do you have another fighting type? You don't, okay. The streak ends here. Uh, a Sand Slash was coming out next, so uh, let's end out Skip. Go for the uh, nice um, Surf to knock you out. Okay, you go for the Crush Claw. But that didn't do too much. And we kill you with the Surf. So yeah, that is great. And yeah, we gained some nice EXP. And that was it for you. You got defeated again. Yeah, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Okay, that was it. Okay, that was actually cool foreshadowing that Karen uh, kind of has plans beyond just listening to uh, beyond just uh, listening to uh, Cyrus, so that's cool. But yeah, we're gonna press the button and free Azov, Mesprit, and Yuxi. Are they gonna move? Okay, I was about to say. A boss crafted the red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. It's also apparently needed to create something. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Okay, that was it for Karen. Or not Karen, uh, Saturn. Okay then, uh, and Karen is just uh, chilling there I guess. So yeah, we can go ahead and leave this place now finally and yeah, I guess make our way to Mount Coronet where Cyrus is uh, trying to awaken uh, Palkia and Dialga. So we have to stop him from doing that of course. Uh, and yeah, this uh, blockade is now gone so uh, we can go and uh, exit this place by taking this green war panel and there we go. We are in uh, this place right here which uh, leads us all the way down here to the exit so that is great. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and heal up my Pokemon and make my way to Mount Coronet. Uh, so yeah, see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we're back. I healed up and as you guys can see, we're now in Orberg City because we can take uh, this path right here to make our way to Mount Coronet. So let's go up this uh, ledge, if I can do that at least. Okay, I don't know why that uh, didn't work the first time. But yeah, here we are inside Mount Coronet. So uh, let's go ahead and use a uh, Max Repel because we already got a Pokemon in here ages ago. And yeah, now that we have Surf, we can go ahead and cross this pond. I see an item there laying for us, so uh, nice. So let's see what it is. An X Defend, that is completely useless. So yeah, anyway, um, let's go ahead and use Rock Climb right here to uh, make our way to the top of uh, Mount Coronet to Spear Pillar because everything is going to go down there. So let's take these stairs and here we are in a new area we've never been uh, to before so another item is Peltec we already have one I think Gengar holds one so yeah it's just uh, sitting in our uh, bag I guess just like this rose incense and we do need to use strength in this uh, cave yeah that's one thing about Mount Coronet you pretty much have to use all HMs ex uh, except for I guess fly to navigate through it which is Kinda tedious but also pretty cool because it kinda feels like the final obstacle even though it isn't the final obstacle. Well it's the final obstacle uh, in the main plot against uh, Team Galactic I guess. And wait there's an exit here. Oh right we can grab an item here I forgot about that. It's a raspberry and we can also go down here and grab another item I think. So uh, let's do that as well while we're here. It's going to be 
a lava cookie. I mean, we can uh, eat that on the way to uh, Mount, uh, not Mount Corona, to Spear Pillar, I guess. So, at least we have a little snack for on the way now. Uh, let's go on our bike, that is faster and... Uh, yeah, make our way down here. Is an item in this rock? No, there isn't, unfortunately. And our repel wears off, so we have to use another one. As we find the TM4 roleplay. Uh, not sure what the TM4 roleplay does. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Uh, let's use another max repel. We do still have enough of those. Um, we came from here, so we have to go up here now. And grab this soothe bell. Okay, nice. And we see that the uh, little board has shattered. Uh, once you, when you come here, when you haven't fought uh, Cyrus back there in the uh, Veilstone uh, headquarters, I think this isn't broken yet, so you can't access this uh, cave there. But anyway, Luca is here again. Observe, if you will, that hole. There was once a cave painting that blocked the way to the summit. Yeah, that was what I was talking about. But the wall, it is no longer there. It lies in pieces, do you see? Ever since the three Pokemon of the lakes have been captured, something terrible is happening. But what exactly, I do not know. There's but one cause. Team Galactic Cyrus. And now we're all caught up. Now to the next step. Are you trainer enough to advance? Show me if you will. Aha, you can relax now. You see, I understand. You are far superior to me. Okay, I actually, for a second thought, wait, we have to battle uh, Luker, but we didn't. It would have been really cool though, because you never see Luker with any Pokemon. I do know he had a uh, Rogunk, but uh, I, g I think it got revealed in X and Y that or Aura's one of the two that uh, his partner actually died, which is really sad. And yeah, he says, we have to stop Team Galactic, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. He gave us an item, I'm pretty sure, but I really didn't pay attention, so I don't know what it is. No hidden items in these rocks, unfortunately, so... Oh uh, yeah, now we're here. Um, where should we go next? Let's have a look at my map real quick. Yeah, I think this one uh, brings us to an item, so uh, yeah, let's see. Any hidden items here? Nope. Um, yeah, there should be one in this rock. It's a pure incense. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Not sure what it does. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go up here to the uh, exit of Mount Coronet. Okay, there's a Team Galactic Grunt standing here, so let's go ahead and battle you. We Grunts have two jobs. One, ensure the success of our operation at the summit. Two, utterly destroy any intruders to stop their meddling. Okay, utterly destroy, that's uh, kind of violent if you ask me. Analyst Forest and your Galate. Okay then. Uh, we have Skylar in here and it intimidated the Galate, so I guess that is nice. How much is Dragon Breath gonna do against you? You went for faint, and that doesn't work in this gen. Yeah, in this gen it only works when you go for protect, which is kind of weird. I'm uh, really glad that they changed that up in uh, future games. Because now faint is more useful than... Uh, uh, well, just doing nothing, I guess. But here's another uh, grunt, so let's go ahead and battle him as well. Yeah, I want to try to at least uh, reach Spear Pillar in this episode. Not sure if we can manage it uh, with time, but uh, we'll see. We're facing a Gengar right here, so uh, luckily I do have the super effective Zen Hotpot to hopefully Oko you. Nice, we do. Okay, you only had one man, that was easy. Uh, but yeah, there's the exit I was talking about. So now we're at the outside part of Mount Coronet. Um... Okay, where should we go? Let's have a look at my map. Okay, according to my map, I should just uh, go here and... Uh, any hidden items here? Nope. Okay, uh, yeah, we do need rock climb again, so let's uh, do that and... See, where to go next? Uh, good man, this place is big. Uh, uh, let's see, if we go up here, then... Yeah, I don't know where I should go, so I'm just uh, taking a look around. Okay, it brings us to a gooey mulch. Which is useless, okay then, so we at least know not to take uh, this route, please don't encounter a wild Pokemon, nice. Okay, let's go down again and uh, I guess take this entrance now. Okay, we're now here, uh, let's use another uh, Max Repel as well. And it looks like there is a hidden item in this rock, so let's smash this rock right here and yeah, there is a nest ball, okay cool. Any hidden items here? Yeah, there is. Um, I'm taking a look at my map and it seems like we can't go left of here because we do need the... Uh, okay, nice, choice carf. But we do need waterfall to go up there and we don't have that yet. So we can't go there. Up here there's a hidden item. Okay, so that was another dead end. So that is nice. So now we do know that we just have to go left of... Uh, uh, left of here. So uh, let's do that. Um, okay, let's go down here. Uh, use strength on this boulder right there. And... Yeah, let's see. Um... Yeah, Mount Coronet is pretty confusing, but I do really like this area. I mean, it's probably my favorite cave system of uh, uh, all the Pokemon games, I guess. Okay, the pinup berry, cool. Um, anything here? I guess no, not really. 
Okay, so I guess that uh, means we have to go inside this uh, cave and that brings us to this part. Okay, so if we surfed over here, we uh, reached this uh, that area down there. So luckily we didn't do that. Okay, but there's another trainer there and it looks like there's another hidden item in that rock. So I'm gonna grab that after battling this trainer right here. So yeah, a lot of Team Galactic runs, which makes sense because they have to stop any intruders from disrupting uh, Cyrus ceremony at the Spear Pillar. Okay, we're facing a Metagross right here. So two pseudo-legendary from the home region facing off against one another. Um, How much is Ember gonna do against you? Okay, you do have to pursue, so luckily I didn't switch out. But it looks like you can't really do too much against me, so uh, let's kill this Metagross. We do, sorry Metamech, but I killed your mascot. Okay, we're facing uh, a Registeel next. Ooh, scary. Um... I think I'm gonna go Phantom because Registeel does no explosion. Let's go for Confuse Ray. Metal Claw. Okay, that did uh, a solid amount. Nightshade, let's go for that because Shadow Ball is resisted in this gen. Okay, let's go for one more. Hit yourself, please, you don't. But one more should knock you out right here. Okay, nice. Registeel's dead. Yeah, I didn't really want to take any risk facing this uh, Registeel. Ursa Ring. Okay, we can send out Caesar against you. Go for the nice uh, close combat to knock you out. So yeah, this Kronk actually had a lot of tough Pokemon. And we almost go uh, to another level, but not quite. Okay, let's smash this rock real quick and grab this item that's lurking in here. A Life Orb. Okay then, I think that's like our third Life Orb in this LP. Um, so yeah, let's go down here now. And another trainer. Do we need to heal up? Um, yeah, let's just heal up just to be safe. Let's use a uh, our last super potion on Phantom. And yeah, let's go ahead and battle you now. So yeah, not sure how uh, much further we have to go in this cave. But uh, we'll see. Uh, facing a, a Pidgeot right now. Uh, let's go for the Dragon Breath. Okay, nice. Uh, we do a two shot it. It went for agility though, so now it's fast enough. But wing attack did nothing, and Pidgeot is dead now. So that is a great. A Arbok. Um, you know, I think I can just stay in and go for the Zen Headbutt. Even though we did get intimidated there, so head Zen Headbutt might not two shot now. Okay, it still does, so that is great. He went for Stockpile, but another one should kill you right here. Nice. Okay, Marcellus, you went down. That is great. Um, okay, there is an item here. Yeah, sorry for getting distracted by all these hidden items, but I just want to grab all of them. Because one of them could be a master ball, you never know. Okay, really nothing in that rock? Um, so yeah, I guess we... Uh... Okay, really. Sorry guys, <laughs> I am really sorry, but I want to grab this one. A sky plate. Okay, that's cool. We need to encounter Arceus one of these days, with all these plates we're finding. Okay, we're now outside again, and we're here now, so... Um... Okay, let's uh, smash this rock because I saw another hidden item. Deep Sea Tooth. Okay, that's uh, pretty useless, I guess. Um, let's use another Repel as well because the uh, other one uh, wore off again. Okay, and I'm gonna take a real quick look at my map again. Okay, I think if we go uh, here, we can grab this item right here. A Green Shard. Okay, cool. Uh, we can also go up there, but... Uh, according to my map, there should also be an entrance to a cave down here. Yep, there it is. I think we have to take this one first. Or we don't. It seems to be the correct path. Wait, I'm gonna take a look real quick while we're facing this, uh, this Team Galactic Grunt. Okay, we're facing a Charizard. Um, Alright then. Let's uh, go ahead and switch out into Skip. Even though we do resist his fire type moves, Skip does have the super effective Surf, which can hopefully Oko you. Nice it does, so that is great. Really, that was your only mom? Um, should I go down here? Because I'm not sure if this is the correct path or not. It does look to be like the correct path, so maybe I won't take this one yet. Uh, let's go back first. Because I do want to... Uh, Take that other path first. Yeah, okay, I explored that other part, but uh, I didn't really go too far because I do think that other uh, way is the correct path. So I guess we just explore this first then. 
Yeah, I'm kind of confused by this place because uh, this area doesn't show up on Bulbapedia's uh, maps for this uh, cave. So uh, that is why I'm kind of confused. And really, there wasn't a hidden item in this rock. Wow, major troll. Um, and nothing in here either. No, okay then. Why are these rocks even here then? There is at least a hidden item in this uh, rock. is Thunderstone, so that is uh, pretty handy. Um, let's go down here then. Wait. Is this, the, is this the correct path then? I am so confused, man. Okay, we're facing a guard of war right here. Um, I probably should put someone else up front as well. Uh, let's send out Cobalt. Okay, as he goes for the wish, that's annoying. Okay, I'm not gonna weaken you then. That's just waste of PP then. Let's go for Confuse Ray. Okay, go for the Gyro Ball now. You hurt yourself, so that is great. And one more shoot knock you out. Nice, it definitely does with the uh, Confusion, so thank you. Ampharos, okay, that's a cool man. Let's send out Skip. Go for the uh, Mud Shot on you. Okay, you're switching out, so you uh, didn't have any way of hitting me, so that is uh, nice to know. Let's go for Surf on this Nidor King and... Kill it, and yeah, let's just stay in with uh, on the Amphros because he can't touch me. Yeah, he went for Cotton Spore, so he really couldn't touch me. Let's uh, kill you with the uh, Mud Shot right here. Nice, and Skip grows another level, so that is also great. Um, So yeah, let's go up here then. Um, Yeah, I really don't know if this is the uh, correct path or not. Because we also could have taken that rock climber thing outside and go to another area. Um, where, are, where are we at now? Okay, nothing in this rock. Um, let's uh, go ahead and smash these rocks now. Our repel wears off again, which is so annoying. nugget we can uh, sell that for some nice money okay then let's go up here now and that brings us to oh wait oh this was just a um, major circle okay then okay we can go ahead and battle you then and then this Jimmy sending out a Braidoom we do have Skydar up front uh, so we can go for Zen Headbutt on this thing. Knock you out. Nice. Really the effects poor, are you kidding me? That's like 30% or something? Okay, that's pretty high. Yeah, I said it like it wasn't that big of a deal, but Scold also has a 30% chance to burn you and it pretty much always burns. Let's go for the close combat on this uh, Kangaskhan. Nice. Uh, next up is the B Drill. Um, I think I could just stay in against the B Drill, go for the uh, Flame Wheel on you. Should probably Oko him. Nice. So you have two Pokemon that can actually Mega Evolve, the Kangaskhan and the Beedrill, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, actually question of the day, since I haven't thought of one yet. What is your favorite Mega Evolution? Uh, mine would probably be... I guess either Charizard Y or X, I really love both of them. Um, but yeah, uh, I really uh, think Mega Evolution should have returned to Sword and Shield, because it's pretty much my favorite uh, gimmick of uh, Z-Moves, Mega Evolution Dynamaxing. And I really prefer Dynamax or not Dynamaxing, Mega Evolution over Dynamaxing. I really miss it. Yeah, right, you're absolutely right. I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay attention to a lowly grunt like me without any Pokemon. Oh, really? Uh, what does that uh, cave lead to then? I guess we can enter it once we uh, beat uh, Giratina. So we might uh, return here later on, or I'll probably uh, return here off screen so I don't have to uh, waste you guys' time by uh, going through Mount Coronet again. And yeah, this episode might go on for a little while, but I do think we're almost done with Mount Coronet. So I guess I'm gonna end off the episode once we reach Spear Pillar. And let's push this uh, boulder with strength. Um, okay, let's talk to this boulder. Really nothing. Okay, then our repel wears off, but we're almost uh, there, I guess. Um, let's use another one. Only have 10 of them left, but I think we still have enough. Is there anything down here? Yeah, there is a dive ball. Okay. If we uh, find a surfing Pokemon, we can use that on it. So that is uh, pretty handy. 
Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and enter this cave now. So this one was the, uh, what is it called, the correct path. Luckily I didn't take this one first. I almost went back here and uh, checked it out, but uh, luckily I went the other way first. Um, so yeah, let's go up these stairs now and... Yeah, I recognize this area. We are really close to a uh, spear pillar. Um, I should put someone else up front though. Let's put Phantom up front. And yeah, let's go ahead and battle uh, this grunt right here. And there seems to be only one more left, maybe two more. So yeah, we're almost done. Facing endless Zoe and her cricket tune. I think we can just stay in and go for Shadow Ball uh, on this thing. Nice. Phantom goes to level 44 and wants to learn. I didn't see the move. Ooh, Dark Pulse. Mm. Dark Pulse. I think I'm gonna get rid of Nightshade finally. Even though it is pretty helpful with catching Pokemon. Uh, other than that, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, Hippodon wants to come out next, so let's send out... Well, I guess we can just stay in, because Skip is already level 45 and Hippodon can't touch us with, uh, with the uh, ground type move, so uh, that is... Uh... <gasps> you do have Crunch! Okay, you can touch us. You definitely can. You only have one more Pokemon, so we can kill you with the Shadow Ball right here. And don't die to the Sandstorm. Okay then, that was really scary there. I was saying he can't touch me because I have Levitate, but then he... Busts out the uh, crunch. That was scary, man. Um, I am gonna heal up my Pokemon real quick. My Pokemon are healed up now, so uh, that is great. Yeah, that was scary, man. That was scary. Hopefully you don't have a problem that crunches my uh, ghost-type Pokemon. Okay, Team Galactic wants to take control of everything. Uh, that's good for you, Analyst Joe. But uh, you are gonna die now, so let's use Shadow Ball on this thing. Nice, beautiful is that. Hippowdon. Wow, really? Do they all have Hippodons? Yeah, okay, I learned from my first mistake not staying in against this thing. I guess we just go into Skip then. Even though Skip is already level 45, I don't want to get crunched to, uh, well, almost death again. So we kill this Hippodon with ease right here. Okay, that's pretty ironic that he also had a uh, Hippodon. But yeah, this is the uh, final room of Mount Coronet, I do know that. So let's battle you now and... Yeah, after that end of the episode, because we've been recording for quite some time already. Okay, yeah, Mega, um, that's fine. We can go for Shadow Ball on you. Nice, kill you. Blastoise is your next man, so let's send out Felix against you. Go for the nice Choice Packs Booster Thundershock. Almost kill you, Aqua Tail. That did a lot, but uh, you're dead now, so that is great. Scissor wants to come out next. Okay, we can send out Caesar against you. Go for the uh, four times super effective step. Flame Wheel and... Yeah, go ahead and kill the scissor right here, so that is great. And that was it for the uh, analyst, and yeah, that was the last trainer, so uh, once we uh, leave this cave, we are at Spear Pillar, but we're gonna do that in the next episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to press the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, also be sure to answer the comment question of the day, what is your favorite mega evolution? And yeah, see you guys in the next one, bye!